Hi, welcome. This is a video specially made for engineering students. Watch every second of this video very carefully. In this small video, I will be telling so many details about the opportunities available for a GATE qualified candidate and how you can become one. If you want to watch this video in Tamil, please click the link in the top. What if I tell you that you just write an exam and clear this exam with more than 65 percentage marks. You will have a chance to get around 10 lakhs to 16 lakhs of salary per annum. That too in a government sector company which will have good job security. Yes, I am talking about gate examination. In a series of four videos, I am going to give you the details about gate examination, the opportunities available for a student who clears gate examination, the myths which you are having in your mind that is preventing you from appearing for gate examination. And in the last video, I will also give you the strategy by which you can easily get high score in GATE examination. Hey bro, I am Ebenezer. I qualified in GATE 2009 examination and then I did my MTech from NIT Calicut. In these videos, I will also share my journey of GATE preparation and how from being an average engineering student, I spent only 6 months of time to clear this examination. Especially if you are from a tier 2 or tier 3 engineering college and your college is not having placement. If you are feeling that you are just an ordinary or an average student, then this video is more for you because gate examination can open really the gates for a successful life. Number 1. Public sector job. PSUs that is public sector undertakings are government owned companies. For example, nearly 50 plus government owned public sector undertakings like Indian Oil Corporation, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, National Thermal Power Corporation Limited, etc. recruit fresh engineers only if they are qualified in GATE. I am giving you a list of companies which recruit through GATE score in the screen. Do pass the video and take a look at them. In most cases, more than 75% of weightage is given for your GATE score and only for the rest 25% the interview mark is calculated. So if you have a very good score in GATE examination, you have high possibility of joining in these organizations directly after your engineering. And when you join there after your training period, you will be getting a salary roughly ranging around rupees 10 lakh per annum to even rupees 16 lakh per annum. Can you tell me how much marks you will need in GATE examination to get into such kind of public sector undertakings? If you have more than just 65 out of 100 marks, you have a high possibility of getting into these jobs. Many a times in your college, you will be having a CGPA more than 6.5 or in percentage terms more than 65%. If you put a little more sincere and dedicated effort, won't you be able to score more than 65 marks out of 100 in this GATE examination? I will give you a smart strategy by which you can get more than 65 65 marks out of 100 in another video. So do take a moment and subscribe to this channel first. Number 2. Direct PhD in IISC and IITs. IISC stands for Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. It ranks among top 3 of India's technical institutes and great scientists like the earlier chairman of ISRO Dr. K. Sivan and the present chairman of ISRO Mr. S. Somnath did their masters in aeronautical engineering from IISC Bangalore. IITs or Indian Institutes of Technologies, these are the premium institutes for engineering in India, there are 23 IITs in India, institutes like IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIT Karakpur, IIT Kanpur come in the top 10 institutes of technical education in India. If you clear GATE examination, you can directly do PhD in these IITs and IISC and you will be getting a stipend of rupees 37,000 rupees per month for the first two years and from the third year onwards until your fifth year, you will be given a stipend of rupees 42,000 rupees per month. Adding a cherry to this cake, if you do a industry relevant research project, then there is a high chance that some industry may sponsor your project. In those cases, you will be getting even more higher stipend from those companies which are sponsoring your project. PhDs are very deeper specialization in your area and after PhD, you will be having opportunities not only in research and academics, but also many corporates will take you for high profile jobs. Many of my own friends are working in very high profile in corporates after completing their PhD from IITs. Many of them are even working in IITs as professor. There also you will be getting lot of industry projects which will sponsor you that will also give you an additional income. Now how much mark do you need to get into direct PhD into IITs? Even here you need high marks so it is better to target at least more than 65 out of 100 marks. 
so that you can apply for IITs when they offer PhD positions. After your application, IITs may also conduct another small written test and interview. Based on that, they will select you for this research positions. Number three, PG from IASC, IITs, NITs, and other university colleges. We already discussed about IASC and IIT. Now, NITs are National Institute of Technologies. Almost every state and some of the union territories have their NITs. When I say PG, that is post graduation, there are two courses which are offered. One is M.Tech, that is Masters in Technology and the another one is M.S, that is Masters in Science. M.Tech is more aligned towards academics while M.S is more aligned towards research. You will get a stipend of rupees 12,400 every month. After you complete your PG from NITs, IITs or IASC, you will have lot of job opportunities both from the corporate world and also in the teaching world. You can decide based on your interest whether to go to corporate or to academic side. In my own example, after completing my PG from NIT Calicut, I went on to work in a multinational company as a business process consultant that I could get only because I had my PG from NIT Calicut. Now, what marks do you need if you have to do PG from these institutes? If you are targeting to get into IASC or IIT, it is better if you at least have a mark of 55 out of 100. If you want to get into NITs, you just need a qualifying mark in gate examination that is 30 to 35 marks out of 100. IITs and NITs have the best in class infrastructure in India. They also provide opportunity to interact with students from across India that will diversify your viewpoints. It will also give you a very clarified perspective about life and technology. The way in which you see the world itself will differ after you graduate from these institutes. One more advantage is in NITs, you have 50% reservation of seats for your own state. In that way, you will have a chance to get into the NIT which is in your state very easily. Before getting to the next point, take a screenshot of this slide. It has information about all the options you have after clearing gate examination. Also, take this moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Let this video transform many people's life. Number 4. PG in foreign colleges without GRE Globally high-ranked colleges like National University of Singapore, Nanyang Technological University which is also in Singapore, Technical University of Germany or WTH HN Germany. These colleges give you direct admission for their PG courses if you have a valid GATE score. Normally to join in these institutes, you need a valid GRE score. Here, if you have a valid GATE score, only language tests like IELTS and TOEFL will help you to go into these institutes. Number five, other opportunities through GATE. You must be knowing about IAMs, that is Indian Institutes of Management. These are the premium institutes for MBA in India. To go into MBA, you need to write a very competitive exam called CAT. Now, with GATE score, you can directly join their fellowship program. Generally, MBA courses in IAM are very costly. But if you join this fellowship program, you will be getting stipend also. Other than this, even if you couldn't qualify in GATE examination, you will be having a very comprehensive understanding about your engineering subject, both the basics and how it is applied. Once you prepare for GATE, you will be able to attend other examinations conducted by government agencies like ISRO very easily. Also, every state governments through their state public service commissions recruit people for technical positions in assistant director level. Your preparation for GATE will make these exams also very easy. It is better you visit your state public service commissions websites and there you will see what are the positions for which engineers are recruited directly. GATE also gives you a starter for preparing examinations like Indian Engineering Service which is conducted by Union Public Service Commission. Even if you don't clear GATE, you will get a very holistic understanding about the basic concepts of your engineering and also in a very application oriented point of view. When you have such kind of depth and understanding about your own subject, it becomes very easy for you to get a job in private companies when you attend their interviews. Come on guys, if you put a sincere effort in your own syllabus and prepare for gate examination, it will completely transform your life like the way it transformed mine. So what are you waiting for? 
Applications are generally out by August of every year and it will close by September. You will also get some days in October with a late fees. So please check immediately into gate website and find out when is the last date for this year's application. Whichever time of the year you are watching this video, I would request you to immediately start your preparation based on the gate syllabus. There are three more parts to this video as I discussed earlier. So do subscribe to the channel and watch those videos as well. Do participate in the comment section with your views and suggestions. Thank you so much for listening. We'll meet in the next video.